Hello, I'm Aisha Kravitsky, and this is the Tziv Sashem News Report. In today's segment, we have with us a very special guest, someone who is very near and dear to my heart, my Zaidi, Rabasher. But before I introduce him, I'd like to show you a clip we found of him in our archives from the year Tafshin, 1940. Let's take a look. Hi, uh, hello, my name is Max Schwartz. We're doing an interview today with Mr. Rabbi Kravitsky. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. Okay, now I understand that you're some sort of a Hasid of... A... Yes, I am a Hasid of the Lubavitcher. Okay, uh, tell me about that. Um, oh, in Russia, I study in Toim Chit Mimim, and I love the Rebbe so much. When the Rebbe came off of the boat into America, you were there, right? It was amazing. It was like uh, uh, everyone was so happy. They all yelling, Shalom Aleichem! And like uh, people saying, Zhegegeyanu uh, Vegegeymanu. They no see the Rebbe for a very, very long time. Uh, some people not even seeing the Rebbe ever. So then he go off the dock and then they take him to the pier. This pier, I understand the Rebbe made some sort of a, uh, a mission statement of some sort. What, was, what did he say? Uh, the Rebbe saying that uh, America is uh, not uh, different. Okay, when you say no different, no different than what? The Rebbe is saying is that just like there is Messias Nefesh for Yiddishkeit in Russia, the Rebbe wants the same uh, Messias Nefesh here in America. And uh, what did you think about that mission statement? At the Nevas Mojnait, it's not realistic. The Rebbe is not being realistic. I don't get it, all right? I mean, you saw the Rebbe in Russia. <laughs> he was fighting against communism. He lived under the gun. They beat him. But not, not for one second. He never gave up his mission. So here in America, land of the free, where no one kills you because you're Jewish, no one beats you because you're Jewish, they don't throw you in prison. Over here, you think of all places, he's not going to have success. When I first come to this country, I speaking just like you. I say, this is America, home of the free. But it's not free here. Things cost money. And so I have to get a job. And I work in this factory and the owner says, the boss, the boss says to me, you want to work in the factory. You have to work seven days. I, I tell you, America, America is different. It's not Russia. I never work. I never work on Shabbos in, in Russia. Okay, so what you're saying is you don't think you can live in this country, land of the free, with, without working on the, on the Shabbos. Another thing, they come to the hotel, the gray stone, and he say, I'm not rest. I'm, I'm not sleep. I'm hoping right now, yeshiva, stoim chit mimim chir, in America. And, uh, and he say, it's going to be just like it was in, in Russia. But he don't understand that in America you need degree to make money. If no degree, no money. Wait, so what are you saying? The Rebbe is wrong? Look, I love the Rebbe. He's, he's like a father to me. Okay? I can't see him fail because he doesn't know this country like I know this country. This is different. America is different. Zaidi, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. What was it like seeing yourself on the video all these years later? It was embarrassing, humbling. Uh, 
I, back then, we never thought it was even possible uh, that what the Friedrich Rebbe was saying uh, could happen here in America. So, the Friedrich Rebbe was right. Yeah. The Friedrich Rebbe was very right. Baruch Hashem, you know, you look around, you look around in, in America now, and all over the world there's Chabad, there's Yiddishkeit, there's, there's so much. I just, it's, it's, even your, my children, your, your brothers, uh, sisters, there's Shluchim, it's all over, the Chir, Russia. It's a border Hashem. Okay, I'm actually just getting word. We're running out of time, Zaidi. If I may ask you, please, do you have a message for the viewers? for the rest of the world. We have to remember the Friedrich Rebbe's words, that just like in Russia, Yiddishkeit was alive and there was Messias Nefesh. It was real. So the same thing is here in America. It's just like in Russia, over here we have to have the same Messias Nefesh. It's up to you to make it alive. The same Messias Nefesh you must to bring out and make America nicht anders. And make America no different. The same serious nefesh bring here because it's no different. That's all I have to say. That was, that was amazing. Zaidi, thank you very much. And thank you viewers for joining us here in this special Tivis Hashem report. <laughs>